Mm, G'day, Tragic here. And I just want to update you on what's happening with my virtual tabletop apps. As you know, I have a lot of, you know, projects, hobby projects on the go. And one of them is a number of virtual tabletop applications. I'm doing the Arkham Horror mod for Tabletop Simulator, a new version of my Mage Knight mod for Tabletop Simulator. I'm doing a Call of Cthulhu mod for Dragon Cards. And I'm planning to update some of my broken mods like Galaxy Defenders and Legends of Andor so they now function. Some of you may be going, well, you've been saying you're doing that for years and you're right, you know, you know, I, I, I have no time period, this is a hobby, so I just do it when I get around to it. But one of the things I did want to do is I wanted to make some of my more regularly used tools into generic tools that I can use in any one of my mods. So for example, you might know about my trash can code. So basically I have these virtual trash cans. I'm a big believer of them because I'm not a big believer of advanced scripting in, you know, like automation scripting, but I am a big believer in quality of life. And one of the biggest quality of life additions to a tabletop simulator project that I believe in is automatic discarding. So if I want to discard a token, I don't need to drag it and drop it in this place. I can just drop it into a bin and the bin will handle the discarding for me. And that's what this trash bin is. So for example, if I discard these cards into here, they'll all be sent to wherever I've got the discard object. And obviously this is, you know, it's, it's actually dynamic. So it doesn't matter where you discard, you know, it'll, it'll just, oop, it'll, uh, you know, just do it for you, right? And this works with script zones. It works with bags. It works with just dropping. It's got special case. Like, for example, these objects are my special case test, which allows you to completely override the, the, the discarding function to do whatever unique code you want. Okay, so, for example, in this test, I just made it spit them out on the side and scale them or whatever. And... That is like it. So that is the trash can, okay? Now, what's interesting about it is that it's now completely generic. In fact, to use this trash can, you just need a single, like you need two lines of code. You need the trash can code put into object enter container. That's that line there. And you need to actually load the module up using require. In this case, that line there. You add those two lines to any mod you make, the, the, the trash can is now functional. Then all you need to do is tag your objects correctly. And it's it's that simple on how to how to use this this trash can mod. And that's a huge thing because I use that in all my mo all my mods. So by making this modular, it's actually reduced the development time of my other mods I'm working on, like the Arkham Horror mod. It's just that it was a lot easier for me to do it in this sort of stripped down mod than try and do it inside the Arkham Horror mod because there's so much going on in that mod. It's a really complicated mod, but complicated for me anyway. So that's the trash can code, nice. The other code that I've done is the same thing, but for virtual token stacks. Now virtual token stacks, I'm very proud to say I kind of invented the concept of them. At least I was the first modder that I know of to ever use virtual token stacks. And basically a virtual token stack is just a stack of tokens that uses the top token to let you know what's in the stack. So we know that the very last one is this. So it looks like when you have a stack of normal tokens, okay? So and if you get it down to the bottom, that's empty. Okay, so you can see that I just used the, the, the trash can to send them in there. Now, this particular token stack is set to use the face or to use the texture of whatever the top token is. And it understands whether it's an object or a tile or a custom tile. It understands whether the, the bag object is upside down or so it knows which side of the image to use. You can set it to use the bottom image, whatever. That's the way that all works. And this one is actually currently set so it doesn't scale, okay? So if I come down here, I'll show you another token stack. This one here is set so it doesn't change the image, but it does scale the token. So if I drop stuff in here, 
you can see that the this is a, a hidden token stack. And as you pull things out, it changes the size of them. Okay, I'm back. What was I saying? Oh yeah, so this is the to this is the same code, except this one's set to not use the use the uh, the images. And it, this is one of the cool things about this is if you put the wrong thing in it, it uh it'll actually glow red to tell you that there's a an invalid object. I have another section of code that actually spits these objects out and sends them to the correct spot, but uh, it's not actually functioning in this mod. I'm not using it for this mod. And again, this understands whether the pivot of the object is in the center, the top or the bottom, whether it's upside down, whatever. And also, so this one here is just using hex colors to change the value, you know, and then the scale function of the mod. This one here is actually using textures of the objects that have been placed inside it. But this one here, actually is using custom URLs based on the object you find inside it. So for example, if I drop this tile in, which is a countryside tile, bam, it loads a special countryside map for the for the for the, the thing. And if I have a core tile, it loads the core side map. And this is way this way it basically allows me to have custom imagery for what's in the bag. Okay? And it's also got the scale turned on. And this is gonna be my token, my, my, my type map tile stack. So that way I can play the game. And then when I finally get to the point, don't worry about all those uh, text outputs. That's just my debugging I haven't turned off. So if I get down to the countryside tiles, it actually changes this. So I know I'm on countryside tiles now. And now I know I'm empty. Anyway, so that's all the virtual token stacks, which that's the, the functionality of it so far. There's a couple of things I haven't demoed because uh, I haven't implemented them in this mod. There's an ability to expel invalid objects. I've got them set to just uh, glow the stack red if there's an invalid object for this mod. And again, like my other code, you basically have a single line to load up the virtual stack plugin, I'm, I'm calling these plugins. So it's a, it's a set of code for the virtual. So you just load in with a single line and then you call it in a single line. So it calls on object enter and calls on object leave. And all that functionality you saw is basically just in a single line and then the global variable that you use to define the settings for, the, for your, your uh, virtual token stacks. So that is where I'm up to now. It's uh, It was quite a long and involved process in getting that all functioning, but uh, it seems to be working pretty well now. And with any luck, I won't find many problems with importing that into other mods. So this is going to allow me to really speed up the development of my mods because I won't have to basically build this functionality every time I make a mod. And that's pretty much it. So that's where I'm up to with my TTS modding and I'm making my Mage Knight mod here. And uh, anyway, so that's that. And yes, I'm back up from my two-league holiday. So hopefully I'll start uploading again and I will see you guys next time.